Good morning. Happy Tuesday. We'll let this run for a minute. Let some people jump on. Good morning. I don't always see who the names that are popping on, so feel free to bring in a comment so that way I can see who's tuning in this morning and joining in for the kickbox circuit training. I'm gonna play around, make sure you can see me. Give it a little bit, let people kind of start rolling in. The sun is out and it's beautiful, looks like it's beautiful, but it's chilly. <laughs> All right, so this morning I have the kickbox circuit training. Week five, can you believe we've been doing this for five weeks already? So again, my name is Kim. For those of you that don't know me, pop in a comment so I can see who's logging on. The names don't always show, um, so I don't always know who is tuning in. So we're gonna go over the disclaimer. Remember, it is a virtual class. And by participating in the video, you are understanding that I cannot adjust you or correct your position. So listen to your body and be safe. I'll do my best to cue you, get you, um, get you set up in positions. Good morning, Lisa. Lil Rue, good morning. All right, let's start with the warm up here. Let's start just by jogging in place. Feel free to put on some music if you want in the background. I don't have any music. For me, everybody's got different stuff that they like to listen to, so feel free to listen to whatever you might like. And hopefully you guys can get outside and enjoy the sun later. Let's start, bring in a calf run, bring in the heels up, kicking your butt, kick your own butt before I kick yours. Who else is tuning in? Oh, good morning, Diane, good morning, Jess. High knees, bring the knees up, right around the hip line. Good, slowly starting to warm up the legs, loosen the body up. All right, let's bring in some arm circles, loosen up your shoulders. So we got lots of punching to do this morning. Hi, Danielle. And circle the arms the other way. Let's start scissoring the arms, a little crisscross. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend, enjoying seeing the sun. All right, little hip rolls, circle the legs up and over, point your toes, bring your heels towards the butt, loosen up the hips a little bit. So we got lots of kicks later. Lisa's favorite, we'll bring in some squats. All right, adductor stretch. Bring the feet outside the hips. Shift your weight over to one side. You can either reach down towards the floor or bring your hands right over towards your thigh, pending your flexibility. Go ahead and swap over to the other one. Good morning, T. Hi, Sandy. All right, now shift your hips back into a hamstring stretch. Maybe you can walk your feet in a little bit. Let your hips shift back. Stretch right through the backs of your legs. Let your arms hang down. All right, and roll on up. All right, feel free, yay squats. Feel free to keep warming up a little bit while I get um, our timer our stopwatch, ready to go. We got three massive rounds of work. Each round, we're gonna, we're gonna rotate through three different times like we have been, and we bring in the focus of the technique for our first big block. The second round, we're gonna start to focus on power, and the third round is speed, getting in as many reps as you can. Feel free to keep stretching, warming, loosening up your body, whatever you may need 
to do to get yourself ready. Our first, first round and our first combination is going to be a jab cross uppercut. We're gonna start with the right foot in front. Two punches towards the nose and one under the jaw. So 30 seconds, we're gonna run through jab cross upper. Are we ready? Go ahead, feel free to drop in comments whenever you want. Let me know that you're here. Give a little shout out. Ready, 30 seconds. Right leg in front, jab cross uppercut, and go. Nose, nose, and chin. We're gonna bring the guard, your hands right back up in a guard position after each strike. Lifting your back heel, allowing your body to rotate, and keeping your core really tight. So pull your belly button in to brace the core, and that's gonna help support your lower back and all these movements. Three, two, and freeze. Okay, there's our 30 seconds. Your next one that we have is a squat into a front kick. I want you to focus on one leg first. So bring your feet right outside the hips, lift your chest tall, and your core locked. Your squat, hips back and down towards the knee line, push up through the heels, and front kick. Down, up, and front kick. Ball of foot, points go right towards the chest. 30 seconds, pick one leg, focus on that leg first. And go. Down and push up. You really wanna make sure that you're pushing through the heels to pop back up into that front kick. That's really gonna engage your glutes and engage your quads more. I'm gonna turn sideways. Down and push forward. Ball of foot, striking towards the chest, the gut, maybe a little bit lower, wherever you're comfortable with that strike. Two, and hold. Okay, let's move on to the other side. So go ahead and take your left foot, place it in the front, jab, cross, uppercut. You got 30 seconds, focusing on the other side. Go. Your uppercut is a vertical strike. Your elbow is going to be in close towards your ribs, a 45 degree angle, popping right under the jaw. Two quick up top and one underneath. Five seconds. Three, two, and hold. Excellent. Good morning, Ellen. Good morning, Peter. Hi, Julie. Hey, do you have pretty hair? Can we mess up your hair today? What do you think, Jules? Okay, other side, squats and front kicks. Shift down and push forward. Focusing on the other leg. 30 seconds. Go. Hips back and down. Push through the heels and pop the front kick in right in front of you. Looking for that full range of the squat. So right down, this way we can get that full range right into the quads and right into your glutes. Push through the heels, pop the front kick forward. Five seconds. And hold. All right, there's our round one. We've gone through all those moves for our first block and our first combinations. Our second round, we're gonna bring in some more upper body and some more lower body movement. Feel free to grab your water whenever you need it. This time, right foot in front, jab cross hook. Wraps around, making the letter C. Elbow just above the wrist. So when you are ready, back up on your feet. Put your right foot in front, get your guard up. 30 seconds, go. Two to the nose, one to the cheek. Now, every time you do your hook, I want you to focus on lifting your heel and turning your hips. That's gonna give you more power behind the punch and it's gonna protect your knee as you pivot around. So three quick movements right in the top in that upper body. Two and freeze. Excellent. Okay, now we're gonna bring in lunges, one of our other favorites. Bring your feet directly under your hips. Take your left foot, a long step back. I want you to keep your chest tall. We're gonna push the back knee down while keeping the chest up. Push through your front heel to drive back to the top. So we're looking for a straight down and straight up movement here. 
feet hip distance apart, long step back, 30 seconds, and go. Now you can either come right down and right back up, or if you're looking for a little bit more, you can stay right in that bottom pocket. This is Lisa's favorite. It's also Mary's. And we stay in that bottom pulsing motion here. This is where you're really gonna fatigue your legs, build the pressure, drive that knee down, and look for that 90, 90 degree angle in your legs. And freeze. All right, what do you say we move on to the other side now? Take the left foot, place it in front. Jab, cross, hook, 30 seconds. Focusing on that technique, and go. Two to the nose, one to the cheek. Elbow just above the wrist. Straight arm punch, make the letter C. So if you're just hopping in, bring your guard up. We got three upper body movements. Lifting the front heel and turn the hip. Three, two, and hold. Excellent. We're gonna swap on over to the other leg now because we got two legs, so we have to feel that burn in both. Feet under hip, long step back, drive the back knee down, chest tall, 90, 90 degree in the legs. 30 seconds. Right T, go down and push right back up. Core is locked, protecting your lower back. Full range, driving the back knee down. Keep your back heel lifted while you drive down. You can stay or come into that bottom pocket for a little bit deeper into the muscles. And that's where we really tone and shape the legs right here. In three, two, and freeze. Oh, all right. Our second round is done. Feel free to go grab a drink. Hi, Sarah, Corinne, and Lynn. Thanks for popping in this morning. And Ellen. All right, round three. The next one, two jabs and a cross. So two at the front and one with the back. Go ahead, when you're ready, place the right foot in the front, lift the back heel, and feet hip distance apart. Ready? Go. Two, one. Now that back punch, that's gonna be your knockout. So I need you to turn your hips by releasing your heel, turn the hips, and your chest is gonna point towards the direction of your punch. Always bringing the hands right back to guard position. A big push and pull with the arm. Two full punches. Followed by that third, freeze. Good work. All right, your next one, we're gonna move into knees. So I want you to take your left foot, turn the heel. You're gonna reach your arms behind opponent's neck. This is a roundhouse knee. So we bring the knee up at an angle towards the rib. We are gonna hold here for 30 seconds, loading into your left leg, reaching long, gauging core, and fatiguing your legs. We ready? 30 seconds, go. Now I gave you that setup. Turn the heel, reach long, pull. You're gonna bring your hand towards the hip, sink low into your left leg, fatiguing the quad here. And as you pull, you're gonna engage your core as well, bringing your rib towards the hip, focusing on oblique. Three, two, and hold. <sighs> okay, we did one side. Now we're gonna go to the other. So to go ahead and take your left foot, place it in the front, double jab and cross, back arm. Two at the front, one with the back. We good to go? High five and go. Two, one. Bend the elbow. Push the fist. Lift the back heel and turn your hip. Remember that last one? That has the most power, most momentum. Four, three, two, and freeze. Whew. We lifting the heart rate a little bit, getting a little warmer. 
is this the time we're in the studio where like the sweatshirts start to fly off, throw it to the side of the room. Go ahead, swap over to the other leg. Turn your right heel, lean into the right leg, reach behind, roundhouse knee. Drive the knee towards the rib. 30 seconds. Go. Reach and pull. Then you get a break after this. But I need you to stay low. And the more you pull, the more power you're gonna to start to bring into that knee. So long extension, pull big. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and hold. Oh, catch your breath. Grab that water. High five, pat on the back. Well done. Our first entire round is done. That means we only have two more times to rotate through these combinations again. I'm gonna join that crowd where the sweatshirts start flying. So let's go back to round one. We bring in that jab cross hook. Guard is up, one, two, and by a hook I mean uppercut. We're starting jab cross uppercut. Right leg in front, 30 seconds. Focusing power this round. So tighten the fist more, lock in your core a little bit tighter. 30 seconds, go. Jab cross upper. Bring your elbows in close. Lock in your core tight, support your back. Because the harder we punch, the more you need to rely on this pocket for that support and that safety. That's your stabilization. Keep driving. Four, three, two, and time. Excellent job. Okay, this time, squat and front kick. Squat down all with the right leg. I want you to fatigue that leg before we move to the other side. 30 seconds. Morning, Rumi. So here we go. Squat and into that front kick. Go. Down and up. Remember, just the right leg. That's right, Jules. Just that right leg. Because we need to fatigue that leg before we move to the other one. So again, stick with that full range. Hips back and down towards your knee line. Push through the heels, pop the kick. Use that push up into the kick for momentum. And hold. Okay. We move to the other side. Left leg in front, jab cross upper, 30 seconds. We're gonna keep these rolling in between those sets quickly. Go. So in between those sets in that round, we're gonna keep the brakes a little bit shorter. This way we can keep the heart rate up. Maximizing each punch and really pushing for all that power and that pack and drive. Back heel lifted. Two straight, one at an angle. Two and time. Good work. You got another leg to do. Squat, front kick. Left leg does all the kicking this time. Drop, drive, go. Big push. Shift your hips forward. Keep breathing. Each time you kick, would you push the air out? There you go. Don't hold your breath. Not gonna help. Great job, guys. Keep it up. You get a break right after this. Two and one. Oh, anybody else is like starting to burn? Maybe a little. All right, round two. Jab, cross, hook. We bring back that power. We focus in the upper body. Right side. Jab, cross, hook, wrap around. 30 seconds. Go. Two straight arm punches. Letter C with the front. Nose, nose, cheek. You've got it. Can you start to push a little bit harder? 
drive that arm out and then swing like a baseball bat around for that hook. One, two, swing. You're set up and pow, freeze. Good work. Okay, this time we're gonna move into those lunges. Feet under hips, long step back, lift the chest, push the back knee down. Either full range or bottom pocket pulse. Which one will you choose? Ready? Go. We're gonna look for the elevator. Straight up and straight back down. So try to stay away from the escalator here. This is gonna be more of a stretch through the leg. We wanna feel that burn through the quads and through your glutes. So think about keeping your chest tall and that straight up motion like an elevator would. Hold maybe down a little bit, you got two seconds. And freeze, good work. Okay, let's move along to the other side. You got jab cross hook, left leg in front, small breaks in between for the rounds. Go, three, one, two, three. Remember all these workouts are saved so that way you can always come back to them and you can do them another time of the day that may work best for you. Lift the heel, turn the hip, set up, swing, set up, swing. Four seconds, two, and hold. Oh, other leg, feet under hip, long sit back, chest tall, core locked, full range, or bottom pocket squat. Lunge, not squat, we did the squat. And go. Remember, 30 seconds. So you can always start with the pulse and you can move into the full range or start with full range. And at that five second last push, maybe that's when you wanna bring in that pulse right at the bottom. You've got a team, ready? Five seconds, five seconds. Yes, you can, Lisa. Three, two, freeze. Oh, high fives. We are done. Here is our rest right here in between sets. One more round that we focus on power. Oh, my mom is watching. Hi, mommy. Okay, guys, sh do a shout out, a quick comment if you can move those fingers. Let me know how you're doing, how you're feeling. We doing good. We move into jab, jab, cross. Our last round to focus on the power. Are we ready? Yes or yes. Guard up, right leg in front, jab, jab, cross. 30 seconds, go. Two, one. Kind of like that hook. That last punch is your knockout. So two quick pushes, turn the chest, lift the heel, and get the whole body pointing towards that last punch. But it's all in that heel lift. Your power starts from the floor, up through the core, and pushes out your fist. You need all those components for a powerful pack. And freeze. All right. This time, knees, knee party. Turn the heel, reach, roundhouse knee, driving the knee in towards, in towards the ribs. 30 seconds, go, pull. Remember, this round is power. So I really want you to load into the leg. There's a lot of load going here today. A lot of fatigue. Reach the arms and think of it as an elbow strike behind you. A knee and an elbow. It's a two for deal. And who doesn't like a two for deal? Two? Nope, I lie. I still can't count and I have a stopwatch. And hold. We thought I'd get a little bit better. I'm having to do math with my kids every day? No, the counting still has not gotten better. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> This time, other side, jab, jab, cross. We were so hopeful. I'm not cut out for that counting thing. And go, two, one. What's even better is that people let me work with their little kids and count one, two, three. 
right to the nose for those three strikes. Don't knock on my door. Knock down the door. Push and pull. Elbow. Let it move. Five seconds. For real. Three, two, and hold. Okay. Let's move on to the other side. Turn the heel. Reach behind. Bring the knee in towards the rib. 30 seconds. Morning, Sherry. 30 seconds. Go. Pull. That knee comes in towards the ribs. Reach your arms long to reach behind the neck. Drive in towards the rib. An elbow behind you. Back to that twofer. And then we get a rest after this. But you know I'm going to push you. Five seconds. You got it, T. Three, two, and time. Oh, good work. Here's our rest. We have made it through all rounds two times. One more to go. Are you in? All right. Round three, speed. As many reps as possible in those 30 seconds. So yes, we still focus on technique. Yes, we still focus on power. But I want you to see if you can lift your heart rate a little bit more and find that speed to get maybe one extra rep than you did the last round. So when you are ready, grab that water, give yourself a high five, pat on the back, a thumbs up, because you were rocking it this morning. So right leg in front, jab, cross, uppercut, 30 seconds speed. We ready? And go. Two to the nose, one to the jaw. Resetting your guard in between. And maybe a little bit more lean into that front leg. Relax your shoulders because of, no, you keep going, you keep going because the more relaxed you are, the faster your body's gonna move into it. Freeze. Okay, squat and front kick. The last time we're gonna do this one today. Down and push. Drop, drive. Speed, but maintain your form, please. Core tight, chest tall, weight in the heels. 30 seconds, go. This time, start to take your hand and whip. Whip that matching arm. A little more speed behind the kick, a little more power. And remember to breathe every time you kick. Push that air out. Two and time. Good work. Okay, other side. Jab, cross, upper. Two up top, one under the jaw. Like rock'em sock'em robots. Ready? Go. Jab, cross, upper. Three. One, two, three. Speed. Relax your shoulders. Remember, we're looking for as many reps as we can this time. Heart rate should be up. Arms should be starting to feel heavy. Five seconds. Yes, you can. Three. Two, and hold. Oh, other leg. Squat and front kick. Down, push out. Squat, front kick. 30 seconds. Shorter break this time. Ready? Go. Drop, drive. Can you whip? Bring in that little bit of a whip. Remember, down, push. Down, up. Keep your hips square to the front the whole time for that front kick. As we come down, sometimes we might want to shift, especially when we're tired. Maintain that form right in front of you. Three, two, one. Freeze. Huh. How are we doing? We doing all right? That round is completely done. We are done with that. Let's move on. Round two. Grab that water if you want it. 
whenever you need it. Jab, cross, hook. 30 seconds. Speed. We're going to move quickly. As many reps as possible for this. Team, guard up. Right foot in front. Jab, cross, hook. Go. Two, three. Remember, that last one, your baseball swing. It is baseball season. We may not be able to watch them play right now, but we can sure swing for them. So right here, right now, lift the heel, turn the hip. Three, two, and freeze. Good job. Lunges. Feet under hips, long sit back, chest tall, drive the back knee down. Full range, our bottom pocket into that pulse. 30 seconds, hi Tanel. 30 seconds, and go. Remember you pick full range or down in that pulse. You can always start with one swap to the other but remember this is the last time today we're going to do this so this is where i really need you to push and you're already halfway down to 10 seconds core locked hip square three two and time oh shake out your legs anybody else's legs tired just mine. Okay. Other side. Jab, cross, hook. Speed. Relax the shoulders. And go. Two, three. Lift the heel. Turn the hip. Relax. Because the tenser you are, the harder it is to move. We take away from that speed. So relax. Let your body flow. Let the arms move quick. Down to five seconds. Two and hold. Good work. All right, we move to the other side for those lunges. Feet under hips, long step back, chest tall, full range, or bottom pocket pulse. Right into it. Go. Remember, you choose if you want that full range or that bottom pocket. Maybe start with one, then swap to the other. Again, this is your workout, so you choose what best suits you and which one your body needs right now. We are tired, and we do have 10 seconds left. So maybe, if you can, maybe switch over. Right now, four, three, two, and time. Huh. Go ahead and grab that drink. Take that rest. We got one more big round. One more before we move into the core. Double jab, cross. So two with the front, one with the back. 30 seconds, team. Go, two, one. Last big block, looking for that speed. These are the ones where we're really tired. These are the ones that we may not wanna do, but these are also the ones that we're gonna need most. Eight, seven, come on, you've got it. And hold. Oh. Okay, knees, turn the heel, reach, roundhouse knees, right up into the rib. 30 seconds, last time of these. Go, pull, reach the arms long, pull it in. Maybe stay a little bit lower into the leg this time to get that speed even faster for those knees. Soon as your foot touches, I want you to pop it right back up into that, uh, into the next knee. Two, just kidding. Gosh, I did it again. Hold, oh. Oh, I don't have you ladies to keep me in line anymore. And somebody's gotta do the counting for me. All right, last one. Double jab cross into that other arm. Last time for this. Go, two, one. Tight fist, but relax your shoulders. Turn the back hip, 
and right into that punch. Keep your chin tucked to stay small and compact. Reach for your nose. That's the height we want. Keeps the arms above the heart, heart rate up, fatigue your shoulders. And time. Great job. Okay, turn the heel, reach behind, roundhouse knees, 30 seconds, the last one. And go, pull. As soon as the foot taps, right back up into that next one. Load into your right leg. Our last round. How fast can you move? Can you get in? Five more, at least five in your six seconds left. I know you're tired. You've got it. Two and hold. Good job. High fives. Great work. Hi, Kimmy Burke. Good morning, Andy. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Jess. Okay, we have finished up those. We're going to move into, just when we're tired, a little bit of a cardio peak. I got two moves for you. One cardio, one strength. 30 seconds for each move. Your first one's gonna be a ladder run. So out, out, in, in. Low in the legs, low in the legs, core is tight, and quick movement through the feet. 30 seconds. Out, out, in, in. Go. So again, we wanna get as many in as we can. Agility, quick movements. Light on the feet, soften the knees, lock the core. Keep your chest tall and try not to wiggle. That's your stability through the core. You've got it. Eight, seven, six, almost there. Three, two, and time. Oh. Okay, we got the 30 seconds for there. Your next one, 30 seconds strength. Push-ups, hands outside the shoulders, either knees or toes. Drop your chest to elbow crease and right back up. Eye gaze in between your thumbs to keep your neck in alignment. Knees or toes, 30 seconds. Go, down and up. Maybe you start on the toes. Then swap to your knees. But whichever one you choose, I need you to make sure that your chest comes to the elbow crease. Eye gaze right in between the fingers and keep your core locked for that push and pull movement. And time. Oh, good job. Okay. Go ahead, grab your drink, because we're gonna get ready for our core. Thank you for jumping in this morning, guys. I wish that I could give you a real life high five, because I bet you are rocking it at your house, either outside, in your living room, maybe your kitchen, but virtual high fives to all of you. Let's get ready for the core training. We're gonna come onto our backs for a crunch into two punches. So we want you to start on your backs, knees bent, guards are up, elbows in, right by your cheeks. Push your lower back into your mat. Crunch up, two punches, and drop back down. 30 seconds, and go. Crunch, two punches. Crunch, two punches. That's right, Lisa, we love high fives. Now, as you lift up, extend your arms right between the knees. This way you can get a straight arm punch, bring in power, but also really work into your core as well. Keep your chin tucked, but your neck in alignment. And freeze. See that? That was like a freeze five. I got two and one. Next one, cross crawl or bicycle, that, whichever one you may call it. Fingers to temple, elbows wide, chin tucked. Up and across, shoulder towards the opposite knee. Either tap the floor or extend your legs long. 
30 seconds and go. Our first option is here, a toe tap. Knees stopping right at your hip line, shins are flat. Shoulder towards the opposite knee. Option two, we're gonna straighten the legs and not only is that gonna bring into your obliques, but now we start to recruit our lower core as well. Big rotation. Two and hold. Whew. We're gonna flip it on over. This time, hands under your shoulders into a plank position. Either your knees or your toes. And we're gonna bring in mountain climbers. I want your shoot for your knee down towards the floor. So keep it low to the floor to recruit your core even more. Hands under shoulders, roll your shoulders back and pull the knees in. Knees or toes, 30 seconds and go. The great thing about this one, you can pick your speed. You can make it quick. You can slow it down, whichever one you need. Your workout, listen to your body, but keep your shins low to the floor to really recruit through your core more. Nine seconds. Five, can you get a little sprint? And freeze. All right, one more move a hover. That means you can either do this in plank where we just were here or to recruit through your core even more, here's your more challenging one, is elbows under shoulders and hold down towards the floor. 30 seconds, knees or toes, hands or elbows, go. Let's chit chat. Roll your shoulders back. Keep your core nice and tight. Tighten your quads, tighten your glutes. Push right through your forearms. Turn your eyes right at your thumbs. Option, drop your knees. Or hands under shoulders and point your elbows behind you. Knees or toes. And hold. Huh. Anybody else tired? High five. We got one more round of that core before we bring in our stretch. So flip on back to your backs, your best break dance move back onto your backs here. One crunch, two punches, 30 seconds team, go. Crunch, two punches. I want you to take your hands and right between the knees is where I want your punch to be. Lower back maintains into the mat and chin tucked to keep your neck in alignment. Safety first. Your posture, your form needs to come first. Two and time. Whew. Cross crawl, bicycle, whichever one you may call it. 30 seconds, fingers in temple, elbows wide, shoulder towards the opposite knee. 30 seconds, go. Either leg straight, or toe tap the floor. You choose. Remember, this is the last round that we're gonna do it. So maybe you choose to do the straight leg two times. And that's perfect. That's terrific because you push yourself outside your comfort zone. Five seconds. Three, two, and hold. <sighs> Done with those. Turn on over, plank position. Hands under shoulders, elbows back, shoulders back, mountain climbers, knees or toes, go. You pick your pace, but keep the shins close to the floor to maximize the tension through the core. Now, create a little friction, little resistance. Push your palms into the floor more. That's gonna activate your core muscles a little bit more too. Five seconds, can you sprint to here? And I'm sorry, 30 seconds, here we are. We are back. 30 seconds, hover, elbows or palms. Ready? And go. Push the forearms through the floor. Locking your core tight. 
create that friction. You can sing. No, I don't, I don't want to either. You don't want to hear me sing. That's quite scary, actually. Five seconds and we are almost there. You got it. Think about that ending. Two and time. Oh, drop down to your knees. Great job this morning. Thank you so much for joining in. Take one arm, stretch it across, release your shoulder. Hope you guys are all staying well. Miss seeing your faces, miss chatting with you. Go ahead and switch to the other arm. But I do love being able to have this opportunity, even though I can't virtually see you, I see you tuning in, I see your comments, and it means so, so much that you guys tune in each week. So curl your toes, slowly roll on up. I want you to shift your hips back and get a nice hamstring stretch right through the backs of your legs. Let your arms dangle down. Bend your knees, roll on up. Find your balance, those shaky legs. Knees together, heel the butt, and chest tall. Now I want you to push your hand into your foot and your foot into your hand. Maybe get a little bit of deeper stretch through your quad. After all those lunges and squats, who made you do those? Those are terrible. Go ahead and swap legs. But think about how strong you're gonna be. We gotta be able to climb those stairs, chase, chase maybe kids around, be able to do our gardening outside, getting up and down. That is all everyday strength and training. Take that leg, step behind, reach up and over, elbow up, hip out and heels down, right through your IT band. Go ahead and swap sides. Always important to get a little bit of a stretch after, after all that hard work. And a little twist side to side, release your mid back. Stay well, stay healthy, miss you all. Lots of love, enjoy the rest of your day. Check in on your friends, bye.